One thing that I think makes New Zealanders really special is that they are very genuine people. They're people who care about people and um, no matter what it is I do, I realise that people are so incredibly important that uh, New Zealanders have got a real, real dedication, a real dedication to the human part of what it is that they're doing. Especially as an educator, I, I see that and I see the value. And so, for example, I think about my own career and you say, how is it that somebody from small New Zealand could go into aerospace engineering when we don't even have much of an aerospace industry and make it that way? And it's because of the people, because of teachers, because of mentors that really, really cared and helped me develop the skills that I needed. And I think that's something that's really unique, no matter what it is that we're doing, if it's sports, if it's um, education, if it's technical, if it's science. There are so many people willing to, to help and um, certainly one of my big themes in life is the importance of teams and collaboration, that none of us are, uh, well, there are a few people who are just amazing who can do anything, but for most of us, we are maybe good at one or two things and what we really need to do is connect to other people and find other people who are complementary to our skills, maybe people who think differently to us who really challenge our way. And I, I think I'm beginning to appreciate that New Zealanders are actually very good at personal connection. You know, a lot of that comes from our ability to go to the bar and have a drink and relax, or you know, go to the sports field and, and not, um, not necessarily be really formal in the boardroom. Um, honestly, you're going to laugh, but um, I've been obsessed with Star Wars ever since I was a little kid. Star Wars came out when I was small and very impressionable, and just something about um, being in space, um, exploration, the challenge. I think. Some of it is that combination of technology, which is really maths and science, which are the things, hardcore things that I love, combined with this idea of exploration, of going and doing things that, that humans sort of wouldn't, have never done before. Sort of putting those two things together is like the ultimate challenge. And um, Star Wars is just, I mean, I still, I still watch the movies all the time. I still love them. Like, to me, they'll never date. And in a way that captures the imagination, and I think, Whatever it is you do with your career, your imagination has to be captured, you have to love it, you have to be passionate about it. You know, I don't think it's more difficult at all. It's different. And in fact, if anything, being a woman in a very male-dominated field, I think I've um, been very fortunate to receive fantastic mentoring because people are more aware of, of me and of, of um, making sure that I, I, I'm, I'm in the environment I need to be. So if anything, it may have helped a little bit. Um, in terms of what I was talking about before with the people aspect. But um, I don't know, I think if you love what you do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, what color you are, what shape you are, what gender you are. It doesn't matter what family you came from. There, there are things about my upbringing that I wish were a little different. My brother is also an engineer, and he is a fantastic um, mechanic. He's actually a test pilot in the Royal Air Force. He's fantastic at hands-on stuff because he spent every night in the garage with my dad growing up, whereas I was in the house and my mum was trying to teach me how to cook, which we should have all realised was a hopeless endeavour. And so I sort of wish that growing up, the gender stereotypes hadn't been there because I think I would be a little bit, um, I, would, I would be slightly different, but you know, it, it's, uh, it's So uh, being the first Kiwi in space, well, um, I was, it was a great hope for the last national selection process. 2009 and I came very close that time. Um, in a way it's incredibly disappointing not to have made it. In another way it's one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Unfortunately the, the future for the NASA space, uh, human spaceflight program is really very uncertain and it's really hard to say what the opportunities will be. So who knows, um, Richard Branson and the commercial spaceflight arena are doing some really exciting things and um, I won't be buying a ticket to go into space anytime soon, but you know, I'm sure that there'll be other Kiwis who, who get to do that. So um, in the meantime, I keep doing things on, on Earth that relate to space and to aircraft that I love, and, and when the opportunity comes, I'll be ready.